So I am here to talk to you today about uh, Maker and the DAI credit system. So Maker is a decentralized autonomous organization and uh, it's, we are building the DAI credit system. DAI is the essential piece of the puzzle to unlock an empowered financial future. DAI is useful um, in any scenario where storing value on chain is preferable over immediately converting the accepted cryptocurrency to fiat. For example, um, if you run an online business, uh, you have operating costs and some fine profit margins. Accepting stran standard cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum as a form of payment today means that you're speculating on the future value of that asset that you're accepting. Augur and Gnosis are both prediction markets um, which require value to be locked up on chain for a duration. Because of the wild differences in the prices of cryptocurrencies from one day to the next, it's quite likely that if you win a bet on one of these prediction markets, um, well, after placing that bet in a cryptocurrency, um, that you could actually lose money um, from one day to the next, um, even if you won that bet. So. As you can see, um, a stable store of value on chain is uh, incredibly important for unlocking the next phase of um, adoption. So um, let's take a quick look at um, the different stable coins uh, that are in, in existence today or that are planned. So first off, we have a centralized model, which is like an IOU. Um, in where um, if, for example, you give me fiat and then I give you a token back, that token is a claim on the fiat that you've given me. Um, holders of that token need to trust a traditional centralized organization or a legal agreement. Then there's a class of stable coins that are decentralized and enabled by smart contracts. The first one is called a senior shares model, where it's necessary within this model to trust that the future value of the underlying bond always increases. It's also necessary to trust that the economics, uh, incentives, and structure are sound and that the smart contracts are secure. And in the third model, it's also decentralized. Um, and uses smart contracts and it's what DAI credit system is built on. Uh, within this model, it's necessary to trust the security of the smart contracts and the economic incentives and structure which ensure the stability. Maker's been around for actually over three years and we've, uh, our first iteration of our stablecoin was released all the way back in 2016. Uh, we've been hard at work at developing our uh, smart contract infrastructure and um, are very, very soon going to be releasing um, the production version, our third iteration on the stablecoin, which is going to be multi-collateral. So DAI is what we call a hard currency because it's backed by more assets um, than are actually in uh, the value of more assets than are actually in circulation. It's also permissionless, which means that anyone anywhere can use it at any time. The first reason why you want to use the DAI credit system um, is to seek stability, right? It's if you're looking to hedge out of a more speculative asset, um, or you're looking for a secure store of value or unit of account on chain, on the blockchain. These are the users that are gonna be using DAI. The second and third 
reasons you're going to be using the die credit system are via what we call a collateralized debt position. So uh, both of these use cases are speculative and dependent on the creator having faith in the value of that asset that they're depositing into a CDP to increase in value over time. So for example, if you hold Ethereum or if you hold Digix token, which is a claim on gold, um, or in the future, basically any asset that can be tokenized, you can deposit your token into a CDP and take out a loan against that collateral. If the price goes up, you profit from the continued holding of that asset, while at the same time, you are able to utilize the cash you removed from the CDP so that you could do whatever you wanted to do with it in the meantime. It's not unlike um, a loan for, uh, like a refinance loan on a house, for example. Um, the last use case for CDPs is what we call a very low counterparty risk margin trading. So currently, if you want to increase your exposure to an asset, um, you have to trust an exchange. You have to deposit your funds onto that exchange and you have to trust them not to get hacked and not to run off with your funds. With CDPs, you never lose custody of your funds. You're simply interacting with a smart contract on a blockchain. And you can increase your exposure in excess of threefold today simply using that smart contract functionality. It is important to note, however, that this is not free money and that there is a corresponding risk with doing so in that you, your CDP can be liquidated if that asset price falls down below what we call our, your liquidation ratio or basically like your stop loss. It's a decentralized margin trading position. The current version of DAI in the, in the wild is what's called single collateral, which means that if a black swan were to occur and the price of Ethereum were to drop instantaneously across all exchanges at once to zero, then the current iteration of DAI would fail. The multi-collateral version of DAI, however, which is due to be released in June, will be resilient, even in the face of such an event because the collateral pool will be diversified with non-correlated assets. So for example, gold, synthetic fiat, um, eventually uh, things like S&P 500, such that in that event, um, the CDP holders will be made whole, even if there's a, a drop in price among one uh, type of asset class. So over collateralization ensures that in the event of a rapid decrease in asset price that a CDP can be liquidated with extra value to spare. This ensures that die holders can sleep well at night knowing that no matter what happens to the price of the asset backing their die, that they can always receive equivalent value of the assets backing the die in circulation. At the time of writing, CDPs are currently 370% over collateralized. So the last method we use to ensure stability and security of the system is what we call global settlement. So at any time, um, the, the price of DAI strays too far away from the dollar, this, the system can be what we call globally settled. This means that the value of the assets which back each DAI can be made available and redeemed by each die holder um, at, at their discretion. This threat of global settlement ensures that a class of motivated actors called keepers in our system will act in good faith to provide liquidity at either side of the peg on the, both the buy side and on the sell side of the peg and make a profit doing so because they're confident that at any point in time, if it strays too far, they'll be able to make their money. So to summarize, um, these are the methods that ensure the security and stability of multi-collateral DAI. 
Um, first of all, it's diversified, uncorrelated collateral pool, which is thus resilient in the face of black swan. Um, over collateralization and the threat of global settlement at any time ensure the stability of DAI. Arbitragers provide liquidity at the peg because they know that the system can be shut down at any time and have exactly $1 worth of collateral returned to them. When this happens, the old instance of DAI is rendered invalid and the person that's holding the token is then prompted to migrate to the new instance by redeeming the old instance of the token. So um, MKR is the administrative and utility token, uh, which is used for voting in new collateral types. And it is also used to vote on the risk parameters, like, for example, the debt ceiling or the interest rate associated with that collateral type. Um, these are the sorts of things that will be used to actually vote on for MKR. It's also a necessary ingredient to actually close down a CDP, and thus it's fuel for the die credit system. Here's a non-exhaustive list of the different types of examples of use cases for utilizing the die credit system. There's going to be many, many more than this, obviously, um, as it's simply a stable version of money. Um, if you want to learn more, I'd invite you to check out first mkr.tools, which is the place to see the current over collateralization ratio, along with many other metrics related to the health of the die credit system. Uh, if you want to open us up a CDP, you can go to die.makerdao.com. Uh, if you would like to um, purchase large amounts of MKR or die, you can go to oasisdex.com and for smaller token swaps, you can go to Oasis Direct. Um, these are all uh, sites that we've developed in the last couple of years. Um, yeah, so thanks for your time and attention. Um, there, you have any questions specifically about die credit system, I'll be outside after the speech available to answer any questions. So thank you. <laughs>